to those who are watching this video, welcome. I'm here today at the 200th anniversary of Centerville, Tennessee. We're going to take a walk around, see what kind of festivities, celebration we got going on today. It's going to be all sorts of activities going on. So we're going to walk around, see what kind of food we got, see what kind of activities going on, and just celebrate the 200th anniversary of Centerville, Tennessee. We're going to have all sorts of things today. Today we have a Civil War camp set up here on the grounds of the old courthouse here on the square in Centerville, Tennessee. Just to show you a few things that happened here in Centerville in the past 200 years. Got some classic cars going on. Got a little car show. Some lime green on that car. We're going to head on around the square, see what kind of festivities got going on, what kind of food they got. As you can see, this part. It's blocked off. There's another classic car coming in to park. And this right here is Highway 100 that's running through the square. Of course, that over there on the other side of the old courthouse there, that's all blocked off for the festivities going on. And I'm going to head around see what else I can get into. Got a blacksmith set up here. Showing you how things are done, how they were made. Now all those stores here on the square are open today. Of course, you got all kinds of food trucks, ice cream trucks, craft stands, 
all those good things. <clears throat> painting on the side of one of the old buildings here in Centerville. Punch bug. And that is who did the painting on the wall. Marianne and Wanda's, it is a restaurant located <laughs> towards the east end of the county. They are known for their crazy shakes that they do make. Howdy. I'm doing good, you? The opening festivities will begin here shortly. Looks like they're already getting set up. We're gonna start with, I believe, the national anthem, and then the city mayor will say a few things. And then there's the stage set up, music, gonna be music all day long. And I know there's gonna be carriage rides later on throughout the day. Uh, I don't know exactly where they'll go, probably around the square or, or whatnot. And of course, as you can see there, with the balloons, that is a statue of Minnie Pearl. Fun fact. Sarah Ophelia Collie Cannon, also known as Minnie Pearl, is from Centerville. Fact number two, Centerville, Tennessee was not the first county seat of Hickman County. That goes to Vernon. Fact number three, Centerville is home to approximately 3,500 residents and is around 11.3 square miles. That sits right in the middle of Hickman County. Night 
that our flag was to bear. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Thank you for Sergeant Riley, JRTC, and Alice Martin. At this time, I would like to welcome to the stage Mayor Jacobs to offer everyone an official welcome to today's celebration. Hello, Centerville. Hello. Good afternoon. On behalf of the town of Centerville, the Centerville Main Street Organization, the Hickman County Chamber of Commerce, and countless volunteers and workers and dreamers, I welcome you to the 200th birthday party of our town. Amen. As mayor, it is my pleasure and honor to be here with you today to be able to be a part of this most auspicious occasion would have been beyond the imagination of this farm boy from Whitson Bend. 200 years. 200 years of people working and living in our town. 200 years of progress in making Centerville the kind of place we want to live and raise our families. 200 years of starts and some stops. 200 years of progress and some setbacks. 200 years of good. 200 years of some hardships. 200 years of ambition. 200 years of striving to succeed. Doing whatever it took to be successful. 200 years of new businesses coming to our community, opening, flourishing, closing, being replaced. 200 years of ambitions. 200 years of colorful and important characters that have made contributions to our town and helped to shape our history and by doing so, bringing us here together on this very day. Appointed commissioners for the town of Centerville and spelling out their duties. Lots were sold to raise funds and the proceeds of these sales were, were to be used to build a courthouse, a prison, and stocks. Imagine that, a stocks. The commissioners took their oath to serve. The circuit court was established for the county of Hickman with all their proceedings to be held in the new county seat of Centerville. The town of Centerville was born. High on a hill overlooking Duck River, Centerville as the geological center of Hickman County has served its people and those of Hickman County for, and the state of Tennessee proudly for 200 years. I am proud to call Centerville my home. I am proud to call the hometown of Sarah Collie Cannon, Bess Slater Whitson and Dell Reeves my home. I am proud to call the hometown of John Pitts Spence, the very first Navy frog band and direct predecessor of the current day Navy SEALs, my home. I'm proud to call the place where David Crockett is said to have made his first campaign speech when he was running for the legislature, my home. I am proud to call the small town that almost erupted into a riot of high school girls in 1961 when Elvis Presley stopped here, my home. 
I'm proud to call Centerville my home. I'm proud to be with you here today, and I hope you enjoy your day as we commemorate and celebrate 200 years of Centerville. Thank you very much. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Centerville. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Thank you, Alice. That was beautiful, amazing. <laughs> At this time, we're going to take a small break, and uh, coming up at 12.45 will be the Milltown Stompers, and they will be performing out on this main strip of road, so when it's their time to perform, please make room for them to stop. Thank you all. Kinds of knife holders. Beautiful. Beautiful leather work. This is the 200th anniversary time capsule that will be opened up 50 years from today. I have no idea what's inside of it. These are artifacts that's going to be put into the time capsule. A lot of different things donated from businesses around Centerville. Stuff right here, all this stuff right here is going in. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is fresh out. Yeah. It, well, it had a few red spots on it, brown yeah. spots on it. Yeah. Might be slightly used. Yeah, yeah. Did you work there? I work in the DA's office. Oh, so I'll, 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 I'll see the ones after they've been used. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the one was kind enough to donate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> More things that are going to be put into the time capsule. Different phones. I'm sorry. The American Legion here in Centerville, Tennessee. Unit 36. We are a part of the American Legion Post 36. People ask, where are you going to bury it? It's just the men's group, the veterans group. Well, I got the men's group and other folks from my team. And we decided that we were going to bury it at the veterans' home. Okay. I'll be 112 years old. The people that are not even born are going to be in charge. They're the ones that are going to be in charge. There's the sheriff of Hickman County, not Nottingham, Hickman County. <laughs> like me. Got all kinds of little knickknacks. Everything's made out of metal. See a hidden Mickey back there. Of course, we have all kinds of spooks and goblins, ghosts. Got some old signs. A mural on the side of one of the old buildings here that used to be Reese's Cafe, but it's now called the local place. They serve ice cream, uh, sandwiches, drinks, things like that. There's the old courthouse. And yes, it is windy a little bit today. Hot and windy. 
Supposedly it's in the mid 80s, but it feels like it's mid 90s. A little humid. There's the local place I was talking about. Mason Jar, it's a local restaurant. I actually eat there earlier today. Very good place. If you're in town, check it out. Crowd's kind of dying down a little bit. It's a little after 3 p.m. Like I mentioned, it is pretty warm, but the party continues till 10 p.m. tonight. So, people will leave, cool off, come back, and continue the party until 10 p.m. tonight. Two hundred million reasons to celebrate. Even Dolly Parton made it to town. Thanks for showing up, Dolly. Father of Bluegrass, Bill Monroe. Some more would work from a different fender. National Banana Pudding Festival held here in Centerville, Tennessee. Coming up pretty soon. Take, uh, take one of our flyers and carpenter's pencil. You never know when you're going to need carpenter. Okay. We'll be here uh, two weeks from today. So on the seventh, we'll be up here with our own um, event. I just go with my youngest son, Christy. Oh, okay. okay. I knew he looked familiar, but I have I've been fighting this cancer person for two years, and so I've got memories. Has been drawing really for only three months. Only three months. Yep. yep. This man's wife made so, so uh, uh, This painting, this woman did. Well, I believe that is going to do it for today. Appreciate you watching. And until next time, this video is a wrap.
Make it by me, oh.